In this video, we will practice solving exponential growth and decay functions. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.2. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Example 4. Aether invests $6,000 in an account that earns 7% interest per year. Part A. How much money will be in the account after 5 years? If the output values of a function change at a constant percentage rate, the function is an exponential function, and it can be modeled by the equation f of x equals f of k times r to the x minus k power, where f of k is a known value of the function, and r is the common ratio. Since Aether initially invests $6,000, f at 0 is 6,000. That'll be our f of k. But what about the common ratio r? When you are given the constant percent increase of an exponential function, you can find the common ratio r by starting with 100% and then adding the percent increase, in this case 7%. That gives us a total of 107%. But when you plug this into the formula, you want to use a decimal. As a decimal, this would be 1.07. You basically move the invisible decimal point twice to the left. Now we can write an exponential function for the value of Aether's account. f of x will equal f of k, which is f at 0, times the common ratio r, which we found to be 1.07, to the x minus k power. But this will be x minus 0 which is just x. f at 0 is 6,000, so the function becomes f of x equals 6,000 times 1.07 to the x power. Now we can use this equation to find out how much money will be in the account after 5 years. In other words, what is f at 5? That will be 6,000 times 1.07 to the 5th power. Just type that into your calculator and you find that Aether will have $8,415.31 in 5 years. Part B. How long will it take for the account to reach $8,000? In other words, when will f of x equal 8,000? We can use the graphing calculator to solve this equation. Let's just type in f of x as y1 and let's type 8,000 as y2. The solution to the equation will be the intersection of these two curves. But first we need to adjust the window. The minimum values for input and output are both zero. You can't have negative values in this context. So let's let x min be zero, and let's let y min also be zero. I don't know how long it will take for the account to reach 8,000. Um, but 10 years seems like a good place to start. Now as far as the y max, remember that we are asking when the value of the account will reach 8,000. So y max needs to be something over 8,000. I'm going to put 10,000. So let's let y max be 10,000. And then go ahead and hit graph. So the solution will be the x value of this intersection point. Hit second trace and choose option 5 for intersect. Put the pointer close to the point of intersection and hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. So that's it. This is the solution. 4.2 the account will reach $8,000 in 4.252 years. Example 5. Kayla buys a car that is initially worth $26,000. The car decreases in value, or depreciates, at a rate of 12% per year. Part A. What is the value of the car after 6 years? Again, when the output values are changing at a constant percent, you are talking about an exponential function, which can be modeled like this. 
The initial value of the car is $26,000. So F at zero is $26,000. That'll be F of K. When you are given the constant percent change of the exponential function, you can find the common ratio R by starting with 100%. If the percent change is an increase, you add it. In this case, the car decreases in value at a rate of 12%, so we will subtract the 12%. 100% minus 12% is 88%. When we plug this into the formula, we need to write this as a decimal. So this will be 0 0.88. Now we can write an exponential function for the value of Kayla's car. f of x is equal to f at 0 times r, which is 0 0.88, to the x minus k power. But that's going to be x minus 0, which is just x. f at 0 was 26,000. So f of x is equal to 26,000 times 0 0.88 to the x power. We can use this exponential function to find the value of the car after 6 years. In other words, we can find f at 6. This will be 26,000 times 0 0.88 to the 6th power. Just put this in the calculator. After six years, Kayla's car will be worth $12,074.506. Part B, when will the value of the car be $18,000? In other words, when will f of x equal 18,000? Let's solve this equation using the graphing calculator. Just put f of x as y1 and put 18,000 as y2. The solution to the equation will be the x-coordinate of the intersection between these two curves. But before we graph it, we need to adjust the window. The initial value of the car is 26,000, and it just decreases from there. So we can let y max be 26,000. So let's go down to y max and type in 26,000 and hit graph. The solution will be the x value of this intersection point. We can hit second trace and choose option 5 for intersect. Move the pointer close to the point of intersection and just hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. And that's it. 2.877. The car will be worth $18,000 after 2.877 years. Example 6, a population of bacteria triples every day. Initially, there are 1,500 bacteria. Part A, what is the population of bacteria after 5 days? When we are told that the output values double or triple or quadruple, that means we are talking about an exponential function which can be modeled by this equation. In this case, the word triples means that r is 3. If it said doubles, r would be 2, quadruple, r would be 4, etc. Initially, there are 1,500 bacteria, means that f at 0 is 1,500. This will be our f of k. Now we can write a function for the population of the bacteria. f of x equals f of k, and we're going to put f at 0 times r, which is 3, to the x minus k power. In this case, x minus 0, which is just x. So we have f of x is equal to, and f at 0 was 1,500. So 1,500 times 3 to the x power. We can now use this function to find the population of bacteria after 5 days. Just write f at 5 equals 1,500 times 3 to the 5th power. 
and put this in your calculator. In five days, the bacteria population will be 364,500. Part B, when will the bacteria population reach 1 million? In other words, when will f of x equal 1 million? As before, we can solve this equation on the graphing calculator. Just put f of x in as y1 and put 1 million in as y2. The solution to the equation will be the x-coordinate of the intersection between these two curves. But first we need to adjust the window. I am not sure how many days it will take for the population to reach 1 million, but I'm going to start with an x max of 10 and just kind of see what happens. As far as the y max, uh, I need to put in something over a million. So uh, I think I'll put in, I don't know, 1,500,000. Okay, so here's my x max of 10 and my y max of 1,500,000. Let's hit graph and see what we've got. Perfect. So we just need to find the x value of this intersection point. Hit second trace and choose option 5 for intersect. Move the pointer close to the point of intersection. Whoops. And hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. 5.919. The bacteria population will reach 1 million bacteria in 5.919 days. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.